Time for another edition of the Cougar Coaches Show here on Mediacom Channel 22 and also online at ColumbiaCougars.com as we talk golf on a rainy Wednesday afternoon. Coach John Utley, your ultimate enemy there, the, the raindrops hurt your practice time, don't they? Well, it can. You know, <laughs> as long as there's not lightning and the golf course is still open, we'll probably still out there and get, still get out and get some work done. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, again, John, the coach for both the men's uh, and women's team. And uh, you guys have had a little bit of action, at least on, on the uh, men's side with the Missouri Intercollegiate event. Team finished ninth, a uh, pretty stout field. Uh, talk a little bit about that event and how the guys finished. It, it's, a, it's a good field. It's a great event for our kids uh, to go to Porto Sima down at Lake of the Ozarks and play because um, we play good golf courses, but that's a really good golf course. <laughs> and uh, like you said, it is a pretty strong field. They invite all Missouri teams first. Uh, if it fills, then they limit it to that, but you get um, D2 schools and D3 schools and NAI schools. And our team uh, stumbled a little bit out of the blocks the first round, uh, made some big numbers on some holes that kind of held us back, but I was really proud they bounced back the second round of a 36-hole day and shot two, 298, which may be our best 18-hole score yet on a par 72 course. And uh, out of the 14-team field, only two teams beat them. And that was the teams that ended up finishing first and second in the tournament. So if you break it down into a two-tournament day, we finished third to second round. All right. Uh, and I was really proud of how they bounced back. And, and 10 hours on the course is a <laughs> long time. And, and to stay mentally strong and, and shoot as a, a big a difference in score the second round showed me a lot. And we talk a lot about continued improvement, especially right out of the gate with some new faces and, and, a, and a team sport. A lot of people think golf is such an individual sport, but in that team atmosphere, uh, it's important. Everybody kind of picks each other up as you move into the next day to the next day and, and finish that third round. Exactly. And, you know, unfortunately, the third round got rained out, but the guys, the momentum they gained in the second round, they were really excited about playing uh, the second day. Unfortunately, Mother Nature didn't allow that. It, came some big thunderstorms overnight and then a band came through right as we started to tee off on Wednesday and it just didn't look like it was ever going to stop so they pulled the plug. <laughs> and uh, talk about the the guys team, the, some all-conference players on both both the men's and women's team, but talk about the new faces to the Cougars and uh, some of your stars that are returning to hit the golf course for you. Well our, our, our returning number one man Hunter Parrish was all-conference last year for the second year in a row Unfortunately, he, he may be sidelined all this year. He's in a cast right now with a stress fracture in his right wrist. Uh, so we're just trying to see how that heals. But uh, from the doctors saying that could be anywhere from a three to a six month period. So mm -hmm. we'll just see how that goes. But um, we have several returners and then we have three newcomers. Uh, Trevor Cronin out of St. Louis who was uh, the Missouri State High School Class 1 champion his junior year um, is a freshman. We have Ben Charles from West Plains, Missouri, uh, my hometown, who is a freshman. And then we have Columbia uh, Rockbridge star Jackson Davinsky, uh -huh. who's here to play basketball and golf for Columbia College. And we're excited to have Jackson on the team as well. How did uh, Zach Rockers help out in that recruiting with the cross, the dual sport guys well, with the mask? <laughs> you know, I, I, I think that helped a little bit, but you know, when you get guys like Jackson and Zach that are amazing athletes and competitors, you can't, you know, that's the kind of guys you want because they have, they have athletic abilities that coaches can't teach. So uh, when you bring that, those type of that athleticism to golf, uh, kind of brings things to a new level. And on the recruiting front, the fact that here three years ago now that the Columbia added the extra sports, including the men's and women's golf programs, cross country and the women's soccer, that's an extra nugget for a, for a kid like that to stay in sure. Columbia and uh, go to school here where maybe he would have taken his talent somewhere else that did have both golf and basketball to exactly. offer. Exactly, and I, I think that might have, have been one of the uh, determining factors for Jackson. And uh, let's flip then uh, to the women's side. They have not had a an event yet. You've got your big fall event coming up, but uh, talk about some of the returners. Again, some all-conference stars on that side, too. We, we do. We have two returning all-conference all uh, players in Avery Rochester and Lake and Freeze. Avery was a freshman last year and received all-conference and Freshman of the Year awards. Uh, Lakin, in her sophomore year, um, made the all-conference team, which was 
very, very proud of her uh, progress. And then we have most of the same core back. We, we only lost, we lost two players from last year, uh, but we have gained Columbia Hickman uh, freshman uh, Claire McDonald to our team. Uh, Claire, uh, getting to know her, she is athletic. Uh, I think she's fairly young and, and raw to her experience, but uh, seems to be willing to be coached and, and kind of like the basketball guys, she is athletic enough to do things that you <laughs> that you ask her to do, and that's uh, that's exciting. Schedule wise for the women only events, when's your first uh, women's only event, or is that well, not till the, the class? It's not well, not till October. We, I'm taking both teams. Uh, we compete next Tuesday or Monday and Tuesday at the CMU Eagle Open. Uh, we'll play at Hale Ridge in Boonville, and then we host our home fall. Uh, Columbia College Cougar Classic is a couple weeks earlier this year. It'll be September 29th and 30th. That's held at the Columbia Country Club, which is our home course again this year, which we're very excited to call that home. Um, and then the ladies' first ladies only event will be the third week of October, which will be the Benedictine Springfields event at Panther Creek in Springfield, Illinois. And that home conference tournament with the redo of the golf course out there. I know last year, the first year of the course being open and new, and it just received rave reviews from all the, the schools that came in. And I'm sure that the, the coaches were knocking at your door to, to be included again this year. I, I had a lot of coaches calling, wanting to come. Um, you know, we, we limit the field to, to 90 players uh, in an effort to have a, a great event, you know. Uh, and unfortunately, we, we've turned a few teams away, but we have a great field coming, coming in. Um, we have eight men's teams and eight women's teams. Then our additional individuals uh, that don't play in the top five will be playing and competing here as well. How does that work as far as for fans are concerned? I think everybody knows, you know, you've got our Marvin Owens and Southwell Complex and the, to watch the volleyball and soccer and basketball teams, but as far as coming out to watch that event. Uh, is there a ticket price or we, how does that work? We, we welcome all. There's not a ticket price. Uh, we welcome everyone to come. We just ask them to stay on the on the cart paths and <laughs> and respect the kids that are playing and uh, but, but feel welcome to come. They they have a wonderful patio area that you can see the 18th green and kids coming up hole number nine. So it, it's a great spec, spectators place to come sit on the patio and watch groups come through and we encourage everybody to come out. And that again is on the end of the it's September the month. 29th and 30th, Monday, Tuesday. All right, check that out. More info on Noah is already up on uh, ColumbiaCougars.com. You start clicking on the, the golf pages. As far as the practicing is concerned, I know you're getting out with both teams. Take uh, somebody that's watching the show a little bit through what it involves as far as practice. I know a lot well, of it's just going out and playing. Exactly. You know, we, we typically designate Mondays as our short game day. Uh, that we just have the kids come out and we'll have different drills and games for them to play. Um, because of class schedules, qualifying, you know, to determine who gets to go to each tournament, we kind of have our a tournament within the team that we will, s some tournaments, uh, we'll have two or three rounds that we can complete before it. Um, but we, we try not to have every play day a qualifying day, but uh, the days that the kids are on their own, we encourage them to play as many holes as possible just because uh, when you go to a tournament, you've, you're going to be in, out there for 18 holes. And that takes uh, some mental conditioning to be able to focus for that long. So uh, as many holes as we can get in during the week, we try. And to try and shake off, I mean, it's, it's, it's everybody that's played the game of golf knows that it's a very frustrating game <laughs> and mentally. Uh, but uh, when you're competing and you, you have to try and shake those mistakes off as quick as possible and regroup. Exactly. And, you know, that's, that's part of what we do. Uh, you know, most of our kids all have swing coaches. Uh, Coach Sperling and myself are, are both knowledgeable at teaching golf, and we do. But, you know, on the mental side of the game, which she is the expert there about to have her Ph.D. in, in sports psych, um, you know, we try to teach them what their tendencies are, what they do to hit good shots, and 
you know, they, they may be cruising along playing three or four great holes and hit one bad shot. Well, that doesn't mean they're playing bad. Right. So if we can condition them and train them to, you know, think what do I do to hit a good shot, just forget what's happened in the past. Let's move forward and, you know, and it takes practice just like anything else. And you mentioned uh, Danae Sperling, your assistant, and, and that mental side, and it was a big factor leading into last year, and, and the dividends were, were seen almost immediately. And I know that other coaches, Coach Washington has talked about it with the volleyball squad that they've done uh, even more, you know, kind of a mental checklist and, and really worked on that aspect of the sport in addition to on-court time and, and working on agility drills and all that stuff. Right. It, it's a big piece of the puzzle. Uh, we were talking earlier today that, you know, you, in a sense, you have to learn how to turn it on, turn it off, because over the course of a round that you're out there four or five hours, you know, if, if you aren't able to shut it off between shots, it's hard to, to st sustain it through the whole round. So it, it, it takes training and repetition and practice the same way to, once you get to your shot, turn it on, right. be able to turn it off and relax going from one shot to the <laughs> next and then turn it back on. Yeah, and that's never easy. It's not. <laughs> it's sure. It's, it's, it's one thing just when you're going out and, and uh, playing around on the weekend with your buddies and another thing when you're in the middle of a tournament and all of a sudden you're down two strokes and you're trying to make a rally and, and, and you get all that going on. You know, and, and we have, all of our kids are highly competitive. Uh, they, they don't like losing. So, you know, you, you, you have to balance the intensity and passion uh, with, you know, not getting in your own way. Now let's talk about, uh, you mentioned the Cougar event, the, the, the Cougar Club and Scholarship event. Monstrous this year, once again. I mean, uh, I know our group was out, we had our radio stations out broadcasting live, and there was players everywhere. You had yeah, the two flights had, were jam-packed. We, we had a great turnout again. It's amazing, and we greatly appreciate the support that we get for that event. Uh, we I had think, a glow golf flight at like 9 p.m. or something, <laughs> play in the dark, no, maybe. <laughs> we, we could probably fill that. <laughs> I'm sure you that, probably that's would. entertaining, but, <laughs> you know, we had full, full sessions both morning and afternoon this year, and uh, caught a great day for the weather, and uh, I believe everybody enjoyed themselves. I know talking with a couple of student athletes at a couple of the volleyball matches, they had mentioned uh, how much fun it was. Of course, most of them heckling myself and my... <laughs> Uh, pfft, subpar golf game so uh, but the, it's exciting for them on, on a sport on a level where there's not a, a you know bleachers full of students coming to cheer them on when you get an opportunity to have an event that's kind of their own and they're there and they're they're wearing their CC polos very proud and and uh, helping out and getting things moving along and it was a, it was a big day it was and it was good to see the other the other athletes on the golf course I you know we had several come out and follow our our Cougar Classic last fall, which we appreciate, but you know, golf, golf is foreign to a lot of people. <laughs> so, for them to come out and actually see what goes on out there, not that scramble golf is exactly what our team golf looks like, <laughs> but uh, you know, it, it's interesting. You try to get some of those that are phenomenal athletes in other sports that. You know, oh, well, I can hit that little ball. It's sitting still. <laughs> it's not like a softball that's flying by you, but it's not as easy as it looks. And really, then makes you appreciate what a guy like Zach Rockers can do when he can excel in both basketball yeah, and 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 on the golf course. Too. Yeah, we've we we've you know Zach's a phenomenal athlete. We've jo we've joked about you know how good he might be if he just just played golf because <laughs> it's it's about as natural of of golf action as I've ever seen. And you know when he's in his rhythm, uh, it's impressive. As a coach, as we wrap things up, talking with Coach John Deshaies, the head coach of the Columbia College women's and men's golf teams, what's that number one thing right now that uh, both of your teams uh, have to work on? You think to get better? Well, I just think consistency and, um, and and eliminating the the big numbers on the golf course. Uh, that's my challenge. You you can overcome a bogey with. Uh, with one birdie, but if you make big numbers, meaning double bogeys and triple bogeys, there's you run out of holes to catch up. So it's, you know, you're not invincible. You, you need to minimize the damage and, and move on. And that's just a, a young golfers. That's they think they can pull off any shot. And you know, to teach them to realize, I, I don't need you to be a hero. Just get it back on back on the golf course. Uh, give yourself a chance to make par. If you make bogey, that's fine, and move on. And, that, and that's, you know, pride. Pride makes them think that they can they can pull off anything, 
uh, reality is I don't need them to. And they just have to understand that, that, you know, one shot by each, you know, you count four scores over the course of a round, uh, one shot from each player for two rounds of a tournament, all of a sudden eight shots, you know, one shot can make the difference of winning and losing. Eight shots could really make a big difference uh, when you look at the big picture. Most definitely. Fall Cougar Classic, one more time, hit the people with the dates it's so they can come out and watch the Cougars sep- play. September 29th and 30th. It's Monday, Tuesday, uh, just here in about two weeks. Two weeks, and I'm going to make up for my mental mistake. I think I called you John Utley. Or John C., what am I doing? Where's Danae? <laughs> John Deshay is a soccer coach in Ottawa. You're John Utley, the golf Correct. court, still here at Columbia College. There we go. Not as bad as my golf game, but uh, the broadcasting thing, I think it'll work. Coach, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Come watch the Cougars play some golf out of the Country Club. It's going to be a great tournament. And then more on the team, the players, and other golf events with CC online at ColumbiaCougars.com. Thanks for watching Cougar Coaches Show here on MediaCom Channel 22.